Hey crafters, today I'm gonna to make a magic iris card with the snow globe add-on, but I'm not quite ready for Christmas, so I'm going to use it to make a gumball machine. So I started by blending peacock feathers and wilted violet onto the snow globe base. And then I made sure that the ink was completely dry. I used distress inks for the base, but now I'm going to use distress oxides on top just to create a nice pattern. So using the Lawn Fawn stencil with all the stars on it, I'm going to apply some dusty Concord and broken china through the stencil. And this will give us a really nice pattern on our gumball machine, which is just gorgeous. Now, there weren't quite enough stars on it, so I'm just going to move the stencil and apply a few more stars until I'm happy with the effect. So adding the Distress Oxides on top really adds a pop of color onto the Distress Inks. Now I'm going to apply the blue, the broken china, on the purple at the bottom here. And I'm just using post-it tape to mask the blue area of the, the gumball machine, which I don't want to get blue stars on. Now once I'm happy with this, I'm going to die cut the trim with some silver metallic paper. And I'm going to apply it to the top and bottom parts of my gumball machine. And I'm just using a white glue or a PVA glue for this. I really love the pop of metallic paper. You only need a tiny bit to draw attention to this area here. Now I'm going to place something heavy on this and put it aside to dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to work on the next part of the card. So you could use pattern paper to cut out these pieces, but I wanted them to match the purple and green theme that I have on my card so far. So what I did is I just used a bit of post-it note tape to keep them still, and then I ink blended Twisted Citron on one end, Peacock Feathers in the middle, and then Wilted Violet on the other end. And because I blended in the same area on each of these three turning pieces, I get quite a cool effect when the card is finished. Now just be careful, if you are ink blending on these pieces, you need to make sure they're completely dry before you assemble the card, or your glue dots or your glue will not stick to them. Well, I've got these inks out, I'll just apply some purple on the outside of the arrow which is the wilted violet, and then the peacock feathers on the arrow itself. So now I'm going to apply the magic iris mechanism. So just using the wheel with holes in it, I'm going to apply the turning pieces. And then using glue dots, I'm going to put them on the little embossed X's. Now, if you're having trouble with this mechanism, make sure that you're using glue dots rather than glue, because I haven't had much luck with glue, and that your glue dots are very small and they only cover that little embossed X rather than a larger area. Then I'm going to apply a second ring on top and then the three long pieces, I'm going to glue them on the back. There's a little embossed section that shows you where to glue these. Then once they're secure, I'm going to flip over the mechanism. And I'm going to attach the arrow and the outside arrow to the handle. And then I will glue this handle onto my mechanism. Now I'm going to glue the handle onto the ring and then very gently close the magic iris before gluing everything together. So I'm going to put the third circle on top and then glue the side pieces on top of the third ring. 
And just be careful that these are loose enough so that your magic iris will still turn. And I'll just put something heavy on this until the glue sets. Now to make the inside of the gumball machine, I'm going to stamp the stamp from the Happy Birthday stamp set. And I'm going to stamp it twice on some post-it note paper. This is full stick post-it note paper. And then I'm going to cut it out so that I have six peas or gumballs in total. And that way I can use these to mask off so that I have some in the foreground and some in the background. So then I'm going to use my Memento Black Tuxedo ink and just stamp a few gumballs and then mask them and then stamp behind them. And I'm going to continue doing this until I have enough gumballs and I'm happy with the way it looks. Now one of the gumballs that I stamped didn't quite make a good impression, but don't worry, if that happens to you, you can always fix it with a black detailed pen. All right, now I'm just checking once in a while to make sure that it's big enough for the inside of my magic iris circle. So now I'm going to uh, remove the masks and then fix that little circle that's missing a little bit. And then I will color this in with some Copic markers. Now I listed the colors on the screen there in case you're interested, but as I didn't do any shading, you could use other any color medium for this. Now before I finish this panel, I'm just going to add some of those P faces to my gumballs so that it gives it a quirky look. You could always customize these faces for the person who is getting the card later. Now, the last thing I'm going to do on this panel is I'm going to color in the back with the BV01, which is a nice purple. And because I'm using Copics, I need to use at least two layers of this to color it in. But if you prefer, you can always use a different coloring medium. Now I'm using a five by seven inch base for my card and I'm going to apply some distress inks. These are the very pale ones. So I've shaded lilac and then on top of that, I'll put some tumbled glass and then worn lipstick. You could of course use pattern paper, but I wanted to use something very subtle so that it didn't distract too much from the gumball machine. And using these very pale colors, I think I got that effect. Now I'm using a makeup brush just to apply the ink so it stays nice and light and it, I'm purposely getting kind of a patchy or like a marbled effect. And then I'm just going to add that worn lipstick on top just for a little pop of color. So now I've cut some letters with Oliver stitched ABCs. This spells sweet and I've already run it through my sticker maker so that it's got adhesive on the back of each of the letters and I'm going to use the same purple, the wilted violet, and apply it on all my letters. And then I'm going to die cut the letters with some purple foam and then adhere the paper on top of the foam just so that my sentiment is nice and high and sticks up on my card. So then I'm going to use one of the E's and center it in the middle where I want the sentiment to be. And then I will apply the other letters around it. Once I've used a ruler, I can check to make sure this is nice and straight. And then when I'm happy with it, I'll push it down so it's completely adhered to my card. Now I'm going to use the Have a uh, and Birthday from the Superstar set just to apply it before and after sweet so that my card reads, have a sweet birthday. Now before putting the card together, I'm just going to apply a bit of unicorn white pigment ink to the middle of the card. 
and that will just lighten the area in the center where the gumball machine or the magic iris window will be. Now just make sure that your back panel is completely dry before adding any white ink so it doesn't blend in with that ink. Now I'm going to adhere the outside of the gumball machine with the magic iris and before it dries I'm just going to check to make sure that it works properly because if your handle moves behind the gumball machine like this you might need to adjust it slightly. And then you'll also need to adjust your background image and make sure it's glued in the right place so that it's straight when the gumball machine is, the window is open. Now I used white glue to it, apply all these pieces just so that I had a bit of wiggle room and I could move them around. Now once I'm happy with it, I'm going to secure the back panel with some double-sided sticky tape. And I'm just going to leave that and not peel off the backing paper. And then I'm going to apply some foam squares on the back so that I can adhere it to my card. Once I've removed the backing paper, I'll put this onto my card base. And then I'll make my gumball machine come to life a little bit by adding in some details. So I'm going to put a little dial on the side with just a black fine pen. Add a little 25 cent sign and then draw in a hole where the gumballs would fall out of the machine. Now once I'm happy with my gumball machine, I'm going to put this onto a five by seven inch card blank. And I just used double-sided adhesive for this. And then I'm going to add the finishing touches at the end. I think it just needs a little bit of sequence. I have these sequins that are stars and circles that will work perfectly. So what I'll do is I'll just scatter the sequins over the card where it looks good and then I will apply it with some white glue that dries clear. Now I hope you like this gumball machine and I hope you realize that the Magic Iris add-on doesn't necessarily have to be a snow globe. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it inspiring. Be sure to subscribe so that you know whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day!